probably a shock to nobody, but for OPSEC reasons, could not say it directly, but I did go to New York and I hate to say that I actually really, really liked it. I, I hate to confess that I actually seriously really, really liked New York. I'm having my worldview fucked up, man. I'm turning into a normie. I liked San Francisco and I like New York. It's so over for me. It's so over. I still hate Portland. I'd like to, I'd like to at least say I still fucking hate Portland. I hate Portland and I hate LA. I like San Francisco. I like New York City. I think I'm starting to realize the places that I like are like the actually like this is gonna sound like buzzwords but like the places that are like actually diverse tend to be more interesting San Francisco is very rich culturally with many communities and so when you go there, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to see. There's a lot of really good food. And the people tend to be very friendly. But the places that advertise themselves as being super diverse are ironically not as diverse and really mean. <laughs> really fucking mean. Like, obviously, like, Portland is diverse and everything, but, like, it's Portland. <laughs> like, I still stand by what I said about the Northeast being mean. It's just New York City is, like, <laughs> an exception. Again, in my experience, I, I think, I think overall the Northeast is full of... How do I sum up their personalities? They're just really fucking smug. Northeasterners are really... Or Yanks are really, really smug. I don't know. I feel like it's the same thing with, like, the West Coast. Very, very smug. Very, like, they're not getting enough sunlight. So, like, their vitamin D levels are low, which contributes to, like, clinical depression. So everybody's fucking miserable. Everybody, everybody, make sure to sub like, comment, and subscribe to low, low effort clips. That's right, low effort clips right here on YouTube.com. Yeah, and hit the notification bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah.